What's up, boys? Today I'm checking out the full 1.0 release of Nordic Ashes. They added full skill trees for each character. I guess not a full skill tree, but kind of a basic little thing. However, you have some pretty powerful effects in here. Plus one projectile per wave, up to a maximum of three. Sounds quite good. You've got a little bit of customization at each row here. Some cool weapon effects, stuff like that. Extra chances to proc stuff plus one projectile to the passive, or some poison-based stuff. 5% for every projectile, so you could stack those and get even more damage on top of that. Some ultimate modifiers. However, there is a new character I want to try out over here. And then there's also a character I still need to unlock, so Niflheim in hard mode. So we've got this guy. Build Chaos's Constellation and upgrade it with the level cards you will get by leveling up. Each level card will give you a choice of several, up to a maximum of 5 active, 5 passive, 15 stats, and 1 ultimate. So let's check that out. So I need Niflheim. Continue on hard. And apparently they've added dashes to the game for all characters, and not just the assassin dude. So snowstorms appear. Freeze you if they reach you, find gaps to avoid them. So we can get Ivy, Bat Summon, or Tarot deck. I think I have some summon based stuff in the Yggdrasil tree, so let's go with Ivy here. See what we got on our random things. Bread, one red heart if I grab that later on. Can go grab my Ascension Crystal thingy. So these must be stats that I'm adding to those things, but I think I like leveling Ivy for now. When can I ascend? I guess I probably need some levels there. The main flower becomes fire or a poison flower. So that's the Ascension can also grab a new summon. Let's get this, I guess. Times two damage and status effects. So I've got a free rock for plus one damage. Sick. Let's keep leveling Ivy here. But Jolt Kingi staff. Let's get the Ivy level. So the dash recharges pretty slowly, it looks like. I can get one red heart if I stay in here for a bit. Or Ivy, those seem pretty weak. Don't know if I can stay in there, that's a lot of ice stuff coming at me. 50% to throw an arrow that deals 50% damage of the weapon. That actually sounds like it could be funny, since Ivy hits very often later on. So I might try that out. Attack speed by 10% for each green heart you have. I have two, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get more later on. I know that's very good on the character who normally gets the Ivy summon, but it might not really work well here. Others to the closest enemies. Let's keep leveling Ivy for now. And wait for something that I really want. Oh god, the ice storm. Let's take the ivy level here. Freeze, apply burn. All potions into gold potions. That actually could be funny to buy more stuff. I'm actually down to try that, I think. It might be kind of risky. I unfortunately couldn't dash out of the storm there. More ivy. Fire, Ice, Electric, I don't know if that applies there, so probably just the levels. Man, it is hard to stay in these little areas on this map, Jesus. Attack speed area for each gold coin you have. That actually sounds pretty strong with the gold potion thing I just grabbed. So let's try that out. Paralyzed enemies, let's take the Ivy level here. I finally got it barely. 
grab a bit of area, I think. So that came back, and I can get some damage at the cost of movement speed. Um, probably area here to make Ivy's flowers hit more often. So this is probably a summon as well. Can I see on here? Yes, summon. So that should work with my summon base stuff. That's the coin weapon. I'm not sure if that'll be great for me here. Let's just keep pushing the summons for now. 25% of healing and extra half hearts. Eh, that's not gonna be great since my potions are converted to gold now. Grab the gold up here and go to some more stuff around the map. I think that's a gold potion on the ground. 2.5% experience per half red heart. Sounds kind of bad for me. Let me grab some more area. Wait, can I actually spin points on my tree? Like my XP, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't think I can. So I guess you just use those for buying stuff from the shops then on this character. I should probably hold on to some of my dash charges since they recover so slowly. I can't buy that for some reason. Okay, there we go. Draw tarot cards. Let's go with the summoner dude. Oh, that thing came back. Effect probability, I guess. I do have the fire poison flowers from the first dude. There's so much gold dropping, I can't go anywhere. Let me get some more bird boy. More bird boy. The dash feels a little bit short on these guys. Like if an enemy is touching you and you dash away from them, they'd probably still be touching you. Let's go with the bird here. Flowers are getting pretty big with all that area now. That sounds like a summon as well, so I can grab me a new bird. Summon melee. I think that's from the bow chick. So I guess I'm build your own summoner now. With some extra gold scaling. I get... What was it? Attack speed and area. And then attack speed for that thing, but I'm not sure I'll be able to generate green art, so at least I have some scaling there. Oops. Stupid ice storms. So that will lower my dash cooldown a bit. More bird stuff. I don't remember doing this map before, so I may end up dying against the boss. But hopefully my summons will get strong enough to just nuke him. Coins only last zero seconds. Doesn't sound like a good idea. I'll grab a new summon here. There's so much gold dropping, I can't hold it all. 100 kills to get a stick. More bird guy. This character does seem pretty cool though. Got another summon here. Sure, why not? You could get some very different runs each time with him. Bird 
guy. I think this one is a ranged little turret dude who's pretty strong. One red hearts. Oops, I dashed out of that, but I think it still damaged me. Poisoned enemies. Let's get that guy up to level 9. That guy up to level 3. Freeze, eh, doesn't sound that useful. Nine damage, go with some more bird. That gold mine thing seems new as well. More bird. Go with some more bird. More bird. I'm like trying to look around the map and find all the objectives, but that guy just keeps spawning damaging areas around me. It's pretty hard to find where to go. I'm just gonna try and finish him off so I can actually look around a bit. Sprout. I could actually grab that to heal up since I can't get potions since they're converted to gold, so that might actually be kind of useful. That'll help negate the downside for my gold build here. Normally the gold character actually uses gold as HP, so if you take hits then it lowers your gold. But I don't have that effect with this build. More pea sprouts. Can I grab the gold here? I can't for. S oh, I have 99 gold. That's the default cap. I think you can raise it with one of the meta upgrades. So I guess you just get a random ascension with that. I think what I'm going to try and do is take the other upgrades and see if I can get that to the thing that I already have ascended for the second one on it. I could do one reroll it looks like. On just this? Oh, it's just the stats on that thing, okay. Well, I'll take that and then hope to get that on something else. The ivy is what I had the other one on. There we go, four flowers around the main one. Pea sprouts. Pea sprouts. Pea sprouts. Energy outburst, I don't think I've seen that before. It consumes all your red hearts. Oh, that might be the vampire dude. That will return some health. Multiplying current cooldown, that sounds pretty good. Stack each time she takes a sip, that actually sounds pretty cool as well. I'll try that. Temporary buffs. Grab the pea sprout. Um, I guess I'll try some levels there. See how the buffs end up being. I, oh yeah, I have to spend money to get anything. Crit damage, all non-critical attacks, probably not great on this character. I'm not sure I want any of those. I think they're all weapons that you have to level up for them to be decent. So let's grab some stuff over here. More Ivy since she is double ascended. Duration is pretty good. Proj speed, I don't think so. Burning, I think I do have that on Ivy. 
Yeah, a fire or poison flower, so that could help a bit. And then I can grab this thing and reroll. Grab a purple chest. Projectiles plus two. I don't think that actually works on anything I have. It doesn't look like I can open my skills right now. But I think skills either use summons or projectiles, and all of mine are summons. I could be wrong on that. But I think I'm going to go with the crit here. Summons. There's no projectiles. Summons. Oh, this one has them, but 19, so it wouldn't have been that much of an increase there. Summons. And then I have one more. Summons, yeah, so projectiles wouldn't have helped me very much. Area's good. Boomerang. Not sure I want more weapons that aren't summons, so... Let's do another refresh. More duration with a rare roll. Sure. Duration. Proj speed probably doesn't help much. Hit and heals a red heart when it breaks. That actually sounds decent for survivability. Frozen enemies throw two ice balls. That could help. I forget what the frozen heart things I need are. Is it blue hearts? Eh, I guess I'll find out. I can dump a bunch of XP into this thing for gold, since it doesn't seem like I have much use for that. Wait, that goes up when I spin that. Why is why are my stats going up when it's for each gold coin you have? What? Like they're going up by 0.2, huh? Oh, because I'm spending XP, not gold. Derp. Brain fart. So I actually want to end with some gold, I guess, so I don't fall too far behind. Big damage or summons, or big cooldown. I think it's best if you go on the double ascended skill, though. 200% XP attraction sounds pretty nice. Burned enemies can throw stuff. Eh, might be okay. 40% attack speed is decent. Man, I just have so much gold because this guy doesn't even use XP. Or doesn't use the points. Refresh again. More area, sure. Proj speed doesn't seem very useful. One red and blue. One red, probably not super helpful. Big duration, movement speed, cooldown, one red heart or less, nope. Probably one more refresh and then head out. Oh, I can spend gold to get gold? Don't mind if I do. Um, probably the damage over there. 15 gold for 50, Jesus. I guess I'll try that since I do have a source of freeze now. Crit damage. I guess I can grab some effect to go with the fire and freeze and stuff. Big duration on Ivy. 
damage and area. 20% movement speed's pretty nice. Grab another blue heart in case that's the thing I need for the quest. And then let's keep the rest of the gold for some stats for now. Three hundred and fifty for two empty red. And my summon should be pretty insane now. More Skog. I actually have enough damage that I can avoid the ice storms now since I don't have to worry about enemies as much. And Ivy collects a lot of the XP for you as well. More Skog. Alright, this guy looking pretty busted now with the full summoner gold build. Collect the gold pot over here. Probably check out the gold mine in case that's capped out. Check out the other kill shrine. I'll focus these guys down so they don't spam ranged attacks at me from off screen. 35 seconds for plus one projectile, probably won't help me much. It's kind of crazy that you can just fully spend all of your points on the shop for even more gold on this guy. Normally you have to use most of them just for filling out your levels on these things. Oh, did that come back? Yeah, it did. No and another one. Doubles all your red hearts into blue hearts? That could be really risky, but if blue hearts are the frozen hearts, then it would actually help me complete the hero unlock. But I won't be able to region them anymore with that one relic. Have five or more blue hearts? I think we did it. That's a lot of ice right now. I guess I don't really need to bother with the single gold coins. There's kind of enough with the potions being converted as well. Oh yeah, I need to be using my ultimate for the passive stats. Oops. Is there any way to see what I have from that? Prod speed, damage, and duration, maybe? Big area, no IV upgrades. Yeah, my main gripe is it's really hard to find the objectives on the map while avoiding all this stuff on the ground. 
so you kind of have to focus on getting the elites first. Ivy cooldown, don't mind if I do. There's so many objectives, you want to be focusing on them. I guess I need to get that meta unlocked for the higher gold cap, actually. I can't even pick up gold now. Receive half a heart less damage when you're hit, sounds pretty good. Pop that for the stat boost. I'm in jail. More Skog. I guess probably the passive stat boost, since that's not a summon. More movement speed. Area. XP. Area. Move speed. Probably move speed. XP. Status duration. That is a lot of levels, Jesus. Crit damage. I guess I have to take it now. Cool. Grants a random full heart. I'm almost capped on gold, but I lost a bit for some reason. I guess grab a bit there. Then get some seeds for meta progression. All right, have to spend a long time in the shop again. Revives with full health. Um, my full health is like really low because it's all blue hearts, I think. Area on ID. I could try it out and see what happens. Grab some more gold, sure. Extract shadows. Doesn't sound super useful for me. Big area. Bait that attracts enemies. I could grab that for the random burn stuff I have. More gold. Feels like the shopping phase takes a really long time on this guy with all of the XP you have to sell, all the refreshes you have to do. Big cooldown. Sure. Frozen enemies, I could try it. Do another refresh. I guess the area there, that's already really high. Big movement speed. Let's see what else we got. After I tell all of this stuff that takes forever. There has got to be a faster way for this. This is really annoying.
big summons on Ivy. Poisoning or paralyzed does vice versa. The flowers have poison, I think. Yeah. If I could try that. Damage to bosses, that's fine. I could do one more refresh. Poison base thing. Sounds okay. Big duration on Ivy. That's probably good enough for now. I should kill the elite so he doesn't throw a bunch of crap at me. And then head for the objectives. Yeah, these guys create a ton of damage areas on the ground. I probably need to turn my graphics down a bit. So I can actually see stuff here. Because there are so many balls coming out of everything that I hit. 20 gold for 50% damage. If you take damage, it will break. Well, maybe I can save that for a bit later. Like, I'm almost certainly going to run into one of these damage areas at some point. If I could grab that right before the boss, it would be pretty sick. 50 seconds to absorb one hit and explode. Sounds pretty nice. Would help me keep the damage bonus for longer. I keep forgetting that ultimate thing. Wait, does it just change the stats that you roll each time? Or I guess you go up to 40 total with it then? That sounds insane. The duration is 23 seconds. So it must just be a temporary bonus then. That is so many ice storms. Got another mushroom, a lot of random sads, seems pretty good. Five hundred icicles or ice cubes. Oh, that's probably the thing you need for the quest. So I couldn't even unlock the character before that? What? That's gotta be what the frozen hearts are. Got the mushroom, try and kill this dude. Down. I don't really care about the Meteor Crown that much though. Let's go for a reroll here. Ivy, perfect. Focus down the elite over here.
I think I'm getting pretty close to the boss, so I might want to get ready to grab the dagger now. I have one crystal, but I can't spend it now. That's pretty strange. Because it only let me spend them on the level ups, but all of my stuff is maxed now. I wonder if that's a bug with this guy. Almost got hit by that. Kinda hard to see that. Oh, I thought there was a boss here before I went in. Oops. Oh, I can get the ascension. But I missed out on the dagger. Oops. I could get a little bit of gold. Wait, can I get a random frozen heart now? Oh, I guess I can. So I can convert some of these into frozen hearts and that'll help me complete the quest, it looks like. Okay, with that many frozen, hopefully I can do it now. Let's grab the chest. Big cooldown, wow. Grab some passive stats. I think my movement seed's probably high enough. I want to burst him down ASAP to keep my hearts up. Two summons, sure. Got another plus one global summon, sounds insane. Think I'm gonna pass on effect chance. Critical and a chest. Cooldown on Ivy. Attack speed. Grab some more gold over here. I actually want to end up on 99 gold to keep my passive bonus from that thing. Attack speed in area. So make sure I can get back up there afterwards. Decent cooldown, sure. Attack speed. Um, I might not want to refresh anymore. Seven isn't that bad. I can see if there's anything really strong here. Chest, decent cooldown. So I'm... I can do one more, grab some more cooldown. And I'm back at 98 for the passive bonuses. I don't know what this boss does, but my build is pretty cracked, so I can probably burst him down pretty quickly. Pop the ultimate. It's like ice storms, that sounds pretty rough. That is a lot of stuff going on, dude, holy. Ice spikes all over the screen, ice storms all over the screen. Summon builds are pretty insane against bosses though, so not too bad. And I had a ton of frozen hearts, so I should have the new character now. Or I guess it was added in a patch a little while ago. This one that I'm playing now is the newest character. So Ivy's still super strong, had a few other summons to go with her. Had some cool gold scaling as well with the attack speed and area and the gold potions. So I could grab one talent here. That sounds okay. But now I want to check out this one. Powers her summons when she reaches a certain amount of levels. Plus one summons, move speed, damage duration. That sounds kind of insane. Hearts, scream during your dash. Oh yeah, I probably won't have the ascensions unlocked on these. 
so I will be a lot weaker. The required level for summons and damage upgrades sounds pretty strong. Maximum number of skeleton summons. Summons also get critical every seven levels. Sounds pretty strong. Oops. Splinter of Bones. So that's probably the skeleton thing. Let's do the same map and see if I can go a bit harder here. Since I know what to expect here now. So what do I have up here? Merge from the ground dealing damage can cause bleeding. Magic range blood. So that's not even a summon? Warrior minion. You can get one of three choices here. Wizard minion or warlock minion. Create portals which summon shadow creatures. So you summon summons that summon. Range summons that cast magic orbs. That's not a summon either. Looks like it's all just magic tools and then you have to eventually go into the summons in the middle. Okay, but I want to try out that one for the summons that summon summons. I can turn my effects back up a bit. So it looks like a pretty fast attacking little machine gun thing. Aims directly at enemies it looks like. Oh yeah, I need to actually spend points now. Super minion whose punches deal area damage. Every five summons on this relic, you will summon another Gunborg. So you want to spam that out, it sounds like, so it gets a permanent bonus. So let's go ahead and pop that. That is so many enemies right now. My dash went kind of weird to the side there as well. So don't step on the blue things. I really need some more damage. Let's get the Warlock minion now. That locks out the other stuff and I can't put any more points into that. Extra Ice Hearts. Extra Ice Hearts. Do you have less than four? So I guess all I can really do is level up the Splintered Bones now. Oh, I can already ascend that every 0.67 seconds making a path and then you need to get that one to get the second one I suppose now. My damage is pretty bad right now. Where are my summons at? Okay, you can't dash over those, and I'm just dead. Sick. Well, I did unlock the other ascension on that thing now. Let's try that a bit differently, since I don't think that build is going to work like that. So let's put the ascension on that. Your summons can create bone splinters below them every 0.83. Let's get that later once I have the points for some summons. Put a level in that. Oh, I have another crystal. So I guess I can already do that. But I want to level this for a bit so I actually have some damage early on. What? Is going on? Some more levels than that. More experience attraction sounds pretty nice.
have some more levels here now. So I'll probably push that up to level 10 so I actually have some damage and then grab the summons. I'm not sure my damage is high enough to do that raid thing yet. Oh, I might want to grab the ultimate so I can start stacking that up. Need another two points for that. That should count as a summon for the bone ascension thing. I could grab that now that I have some gold. There's so much stuff I can't even move. I think my damage just isn't high enough. I can't even avoid everything, man. I have a bunch of points now. I can probably grab that. And then try and finish that off. Summon that dude out. Hope I can actually kill the elites now. Okay, it looks like the ultimate's working decently. Up to 9. That's about a 20% damage increase. That seems pretty good. Oops, I didn't see that under all of my stuff. Chest over here. Probably some cooldown. I'm going to turn my effects back down a bit. That is a lot of bone trees right now. Man, I already missed the IV XP collection thing. At least I got that early item that boost my collection range a bit. I can put some more levels into that. Projectiles and duration, sure. And then I can go for another weapon. It looks like I only have one more since those will lock each other out. I might want to grab one of these. What level am I currently? 29. That might be better since I don't really know this stuff very well. I want to go in there, but there's so many ice storms right now. Dash in there doesn't seem to work. I'm gonna get frozen. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can actually dash over that. Again, pop my ultimate for another summon here. I can probably grab that thing now to recover my HP a bit, and then I'll go up there for a new weapon to go with all of my crystals. Yeah, the dash just feels so short, it's like you can't really dodge anything with it. just sort of helps you move around the map very slightly faster. Reduce cooldown by 35%. So I can avoid stuff even less often. I guess it helps with the storms a bit. Hopefully I have enough damage for the Ray Shrine now. I can grab a new weapon. Damage and scares everything with its screeching cry. What is that tagged as? Magic, range, and blood? 
so that's probably a bit more synergistic. Electrical energy falls from the sky, damaging nearby enemies. And I can go ahead and ascend that. Increase thunder impact and unlock that later on. Frozen enemies, don't think I have anything for that yet. I wish I could see my skeletons, but there's just so many bone pillars that they would be blocking everything if I have the graphics any higher. Go ahead and pop that fireball thing. some more levels into the Elder Wands, so I can eventually kill Voldemort. Pop that to help me deal with the Elites. I can go check the gold mine again. I think I have basically all the objectives here now. The other build was way better at getting gold, it seems like. All the summons breaking boxes and then the potion conversion on top of that. More leads, pop the ultimate. That might have been a mistake since the boss is going to be here soon. Big area, sure. Try and pull him into all of the bone spires up here. I didn't even see what that was. Ultimate about to come back up. Damage seems all right if I lure them into the bone zone like that. I don't think I even have anything to use that on currently. That seems pretty good. What does this guy have? An owl that orbits around you. Could be useful since I'm kind of summoner based, I think. I'll try it. Some gold on the ground. Big area and movement speed, and a chest. Big area over here. I can put some levels on that and ascend it, I think. Multiplies by two the number of feathers, and I've never used that before, apparently. And then I guess that's about it. I could sell some levels, but I also have some decent passive stats in here and that. So I may as well put some more stuff here. Weird little bug where those are fully showing up even though my effects are way down. There we go. 35 seconds. I don't think I have any burn or freeze, although I do have one other freeze related thing somewhere. Ice ball, but I don't think I have anything to trigger that yet.
150 kills. I guess the other passive actually would have been better every 20 levels to get an extra Ice Heart. Oh well. Oh, I can get the last level on that now. Pop the ultimate. Pull them into the bone zone over here so more bones hit them. thing has available. Oh, a chance to freeze. There we go. That'll activate my other two relics related to freezing now, I suppose. 25% damage while you have at least one blue heart. Seems pretty good right now. I'll pop this thing to help me kill the elites here. Those Sonic waves are pretty annoying. They invert your controls when they hit you. So it becomes a lot harder to avoid other attacks afterwards. Reach five summons. The game does have a lot of achievements and unlocks to go for. I don't think I care about the sword. Let's see if we can get something better here. Elder Wand, that's probably fine. I've actually played it a decent amount and there's still quite a bit of stuff that I need to unlock. But there's a lot of ice storms. There's a chest up there somewhere. Got some passive stats. I think I like the area here. Yeah, I can get some more stats up here. Could upgrade that dude a bit. One point left. Duration seems pretty good. That guy got wrecked. That is a lot of projectiles combined with the spikes on the ground. It just feels like on this map there's so many projectiles and ice storms coming at the same time that you have to basically choose which to get hit by at some points. Unless your damage is really high like I had in the first run. then you can mostly just ignore the enemies. See, the boss is about to come, so I might want to save my ult for that. Big cooldown.
have a bunch of points to spend, more duration. Um, that should work with the freeze thing I have. 17.5. 40% now? Quite a bit higher. That didn't even hit me. Pop the ultimate. Try and pull him into the bone zone. Crit damage, probably not. Burns, I think that would work now that I have the relics for that stuff. Elder Wand, big cooldown. See what else we got. Oh, that's a cost reduction. That seems pretty strong. Wow, 25 gold down to 12? Summons plus three. So that should work on that and that. No, that one has projectiles but not summons. So it would only work on that and it already has 12. Honestly, I think I'd probably rather just use my ascension crystal on something. Eh, I guess not. I don't really have much to spend it on. Oh yeah, it gives me one as well, so that should be up to 18 now. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's grab some stuff over here. Don't think I care about proj speed. I guess one proj there? Or oh, wait, the Elder Wand has a lot of upgrades on it. Plus three proj up to nine, that's a pretty big increase. A dagger. Or some hearts. Eh. Do I want to upgrade anything here? I could still use some movement speed. That's a pretty cheap tree though. You can only get two weapons and then there's not very many passive stats either. Kind of weird. I could do one more refresh, see if there's anything cool. Damage. Five damage is not bad, I think. 60 to 67. 60 to 64. It's around 10% for some of them. Pretty low for that one, though. That's not bad. Bones, sure. Grab some cheap stuff up here. Then keep my ascension crystals to get extra summons. Oops, didn't see that. Those are a little bit hard to see with other blue effects near them. And lightning. I don't think I have either of those currently. Go ahead and pop that for the elites here. More direct. 
duration on the bone zone. Can't even make it away from all those ice clouds. A lot of damage zones on the ground there. Five hundred kills. But I do have a freeze effect. And that's actually going pretty quickly, wow. Another pop and to paralyzed. May as well while I'm here, I guess. In case it pops again. Bones, I think. Yeah, the ice clouds on this map are pretty annoying. Big damage there, sure. Plus one bounces. That should work on that, I think. Does shoot projectiles. Doesn't list bounces on there. There's so much junk on the minimap, I can't really tell what's what at this point. Like, all the potions and gold and stuff all overlapping. It'd be good if there was a way to filter out, like, the potions at least. But it doesn't seem like it. Big chest ahead. Area on the Elder Wand that has a lot of upgrades. Crits. Grab some cooldown. Damage, crits. I think that's a little bit better. Duration, movement speed's fine. Crit or area, let's grab the crits. Duration, area. Oh, I have a lot of points to sell as well. I can buy a ton due to the price reduction. More Elder Wands. I 
Yeah, this takes forever. I have everything I want max straight. Yeah, it would just be the sword thing. Big critical looks good. Decent damage, sure. I don't think that really adds much 13 to 16 on a boss. Probably not. Take the Elder Wand. This one projectiles. Splintered Bones cooldown. Proj speed doesn't sound super useful on a boss. Probably the damage here. Let's see, plus one proj. Oh, I can't even buy that. Oops. I can grab a little bit of area or duration. That's probably more helpful against the boss. What is that glowing blue crap? Oops. Like, my effects shouldn't be this visible, but they're... It happens every time I zone to somewhere else, it seems like. I can't even dodge this one! What? Pop my ultimate. Hope to summon Skiller soon, because that is a lot of stuff to avoid. These 15 summons in the same run. So I guess that's a new skin for her, actually. More meta progression. The Elder Wand Ascension. The Ase Feather Ascension. So we got a new skin for her, and she also has a talent, Ice Hearts, or Dash causes fear, sounds kind of cool. Enemy bleed has a 10% of creating a new bone spike. Not really sure what those two do since I haven't tried those yet. Paralyzing an enemy. Oh, you know, I think I actually did have a Paralyze, because that's a th Thunder damage weapon. And I think those all have it by default, actually. That would have been pretty good for some more scaling. Not sure if that would have helped. That would have been good for even more scaling. Seems like... She could be a pretty good character, though. So yeah, that's the 1.0 update. I've got a little bit more meta progression I could grab here. The gold thing would be pretty good for my first run. Wouldn't have helped that much on the second one, but that's pretty expensive to get. So maybe another time. I did have the summon bonus there, which actually helped out both of those builds pretty nicely. Not a bad little game, has gotten a lot of updates over time, might be worth checking out. But that's going to be it for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.